All right, guys, what's up? Uh, nice to see you all today. Today, we're taking advantage of some nice weather. Like, it's still real cold, but it's not windy. So, um, I have my Silverado. Um, I don't know how many videos have been posted yet and how many we're gonna post of us jumping this. Um, I really enjoy jumping this truck and just doing general hoonery in it. We had a Chevy 10 bolt in it with, check this out, Toyota wheels and General Grabber 35s. And inside of this carrier right here was a welded diff. It was an open diff, so we welded the spider gears all together and then to the housing, and it lasted a long time. Right now, I've, this has already happened to me a couple times with other people's 10 bolts, is uh, the carrier itself cracks in half after a while. And this is a lot of load and a lot of jumps that had survived in for years. So when that broke, it also threw a bunch of shit everywhere, stripped out the ring and pinion. This whole axle is trash. That's a Chevy 10 bolt. So I've got my friend Sammy. My good friend Sammy's over here. Hey. What up, Sammy? Say hi. I'm stuck under the car. Yeah, he is. And he's broken too today. Yeah. So we're putting a Chevy 14 bolt in because they're a, a shit ton more robust. Um, it's got the gov lock in it which I hear is a piece of shit. So we're gonna give it a try before we weld it, but it's gonna end up getting welded, I think. Um, unfortunately, the worst part about this is that, woof, I had to switch to these, I have no idea what wheels they are. It's an eight lug axle, and I did everything in the whole world. I tried every product that I could find online or at Summit Racing or Amazon. Um, I don't have access to a machine shop and it wasn't cost effective to machine stuff, but, we had to be on an eight lug instead of a six lug. So I don't get to reuse my 2021 20, Toyota 4Runner wheels, which are fucking sick because they're super lightweight and retarded strong. Um, but I'm on 17, so we'll be able to swap over my general grabbers. Darn, you can't see them. There they are, background. Um, my general grabbers over to these 17 inch wheels. And this will get me by until the warmer season when we can do more stuff to it. What's coming soon, is a shackle flip kit um, to raise it and a couple of other things, maybe boxing in the frame real quick, uh, relocating the fuel tank. And shortly after that, we're doing a triangulated four link in the rear um, with coilovers for mid travel. We wanna have about 10 inches of travel here and we're doing Ford Raptor, as much Ford Raptor front suspension as possible. So we can go from about four inches of travel up front to about 10 inches of travel. I've been pushing this truck so hard that the leaf springs are bent. Let me see if I can show you this. <laughs> I can't. They're in there. The leaf, the leaf springs are all wavy and bent and fucked. So we're gonna piece it together so we can roll it around from shop to shop um, because different people will be boxing the frame, different places will be moving the, um, we'll be going to for fuel system. Um, we're gonna find a nicer bed for it. So there's a lot to do and it was, you could not move it with that axle. So we're getting all that taken care of and there's gonna be a lot more exciting video of this truck very soon here. Um, like and subscribe if you wanna see me jump this in the next video. Later. Yeah.